What? A Valentine's event? And this is for me, the great Vlad the Third? Are you of sound mind? No, of course not. For I am no more than a merciless butcher who slaughters without cause. And so, to offer a token of affection to me, the very embodiment of a paling, finally my contractor has gone truly mad! Uh, no, we're both sane. Hmm. I commend you for saying such a thing even with this bloody armor before you. Then I have no choice. Do not move. If you move, I will impale you upon my lance. Okay. Savage? Ah, good. You have waited as, as I instructed. Now take this. It may not be quite on par with your intricate gift, but it's certainly more grandiose. That's a giant burger. A steak bur- I mean, a steak burger? Hmm. Rest assured, my friend. It is pure, choice beef. It's delicious. I was once a very restless lord. I practiced sowing and cared for livestock. Sometimes I even stood before the hearth. Since I was a military man, I always did what was required of uh, each day myself. Hmm. The less stable me may have uh, superior sowing skills, but for the moment, we are in my domain. Fool will give this heartless, impaling Lord Chocolate surrender now and eat my offering. It will surely fill you up. Show me your resolve by devouring it all this moment. Should you do so, I will delight you with even more meat dishes. <laughs> we shall have our own carnivorous carnival. I mean, hey, I ain't complaining. That steak burger looks delicious. It comes with a side of fries, too. Valentine's return gift from Vlad III, Lancer. Uh, a fork that looks like a lance is stuck in two steaks sandwiched between two slices of bread. In other words, it's a hamburger made with steaks. It's good. Truly a dish from a cooking daddy. It really is delicious. Hello again, Inkidu. Hello, Master. Does something happen? You look especially well this morning. Your cheeks look a bit flushed, but it does not seem to be a, it does not seem, seem to be a sign of a fever. Rather, you seem to be positively beaming. Yes, that rosy glow is truly lovely on you. Much as I do not know its source, I must admit your elation is quite contagious. If I am the cause of your happiness, then today is truly a wonderful day. Eh, you're mostly right. Hmm? This is what you call chocolate. In Uruk, butter cakes were popular. There's nothing so intricate as this delicacy, though. And this is for me? It's a token of my gratitude. What a surprise. I am merely a weapon, and yet you always treat me as a human being. I am uncertain whether this is a good or bad thing, and I have no way to be sure. At the very least, I can express my feelings to you, though. Thank you. I shall save and treasure this gift. But this is embarrassing. I am very happy to receive this chocolate. But I have nothing to give you in return that can express my gratitude. Only something like this. A white flower. You gave me red flower last time. All that I could give is a flower, blooming in a field. I know it is a gesture like a maiden in a fairy tale, but please do, please do overlook that. This flower is the state of my mind the moment... The flower is the state of my mind in this moment that given form. It is a modest gift, I know, but I would appreciate it if you would keep it and cherish it. It really is a lovely flower. Thank you, Enkidu. You really think so? That flower is like a portrait of a person. I just made it, and the model that inspired it... Well, I shouldn't say. If you don't notice, then I think I would like that better. Master, may you never forget the simple way of living that is your own. A gift from a certain weapon. A single white flower to give your heart a little rest. Precious. Karna, is everything okay? Hmm. Gabriel? Sorry, I didn't notice you. I was a bit distracted. Good morning. It's a wonderful morning. After all, I saw you first thing in the morning. No, this must be divine assistance. I feel like I could confide in you about my rather strange experience. Listen, Gabriel, I want you to stay calm and hear this. I have had many strange encounters today. It's all been about offerings. Without reason, and from the Chaldean staff that I have no acquaintance with, many have approached me to give me chocolates. Can you believe that? This has happened five times already. Not only that, Rama, Geronimo, Robin Hood, Beowulf, and Li Xuan have all had similar experiences. Ah, and for some reason Edison was crying like a baby while Helena handed him chocolates. Aww. 
normally one should happily accept a gift, but I'm no Arjuna, so there's no reason for anyone to give me gifts. And that manly Edison was bawling. Could this possibly be a sign of impending terror or a new enemy? <laughs> uh, Edison! Inquire with him or explain Valentine's Day. Um, I don't know. Um, I'm gonna cry with Edison. Poor lion man. <laughs> Valentine's Day. I see. I did hear about this interesting custom, but I did not know that today was that day. A woman who is knowledgeable of events taught me to say this event doesn't concern me, but I completely forgotten about that. I've done a terrible thing. I told them that I don't require it, nor do I have anything to give back. Uh, actually, I have something for you, too. I see. If you'll excuse me a bit, wait here. Do not dare move. They love to tell me that, don't they? Thanks for waiting. I'm embarrassed to be a man caught so unprepared, but please take these. Hello there. Isn't this very expensive? Yes, I made them with what I had laying around, but they turned out better than expected. I had Da Vinci help me, but I still consider them something I made with my own hands. No, I, I did consider handing it to you on the spot, but I thought you'd appreciate it as is. I remolded it thinking of you, now that I'm a man who is at least considerate in that respect. Thank you, Karna. Ah, thank you, Gabriel. I shall never forget this feeling of happiness I experienced today. It's truly an immortal chocolate. Even the sun itself could not melt the sweet feeling. Dusk Earrings, a Valentine's return gift from Karna. Earrings handcrafted by Karna himself. It seems he swiftly extracted the materials used to make them from his armor at the moment that he, when it breaks apart to form his lance. The more you look at it, the more priceless the gift looks. Is this really something he should be giving away? Yo, morning, Master. Kukulain's come to answer your call. Hello, dead man. Ah, there's no need for you to tell me your business. Isn't today the day where, we gr where we're grateful for each other? I have something prepared, so we're even. Huh, I'm glad this didn't go to waste. Here, my gift to you. It's neither too serious nor too casual. Perfect. Uh, you're pretty frank about this. You think so? I thought I was being a bit humble when I was selecting this. It may look like it has no meaning attached to it, but those earrings have a bit of sentimental value to them. Well, that's my own story to tell. You wouldn't know about it. Either way, the celebration's just begun, partner. Let's head over to the cafeteria. Yeah! Everyone's getting into the holiday spirit. Let's have a contest to see how many we can grab. Uh, what is Katahaj in there? <laughs> Seriously? Impossible. No, I guess I can't guarantee that. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Uh, what will be, will be. Maybe we can both get go in there and brace for death? Don't worry, I'll bury you if you die. Though, I, I may be beaten to a pulp too. Nah, I guarantee you'll die before I do. That's the way it always goes. Runestone Earring Chocolates. Valentine's return gift from Kuka Lane. Earring-shaped chocolates, an intricately made gift that will be too serious, while chocolate has no meaning attached to it, will be insignificant. It seems there are actually some thought went into the selection. Could this guy actually be a scrupulous sort of man? Well, I never thought Kukulain is the bad guy type. I'm sure he's a bit of a jerk in the original Fate Day Night, but that's mostly just because of who he was serving at the time. There we go. Best coup. It's quite nice. Hey, where are all the other servants? Well, it's just the two of us going on a hunt. It isn't so bad once in a while. I'll accompany you whether it's hunting, for embers, or whatever. Or is it something else? You got something else to tell me? Um, here's some chocolates. I hope you like them. Oh, hey, these are the things that that bratty servant at Chaldea eats sometimes. I get it now. So it's called Valentine's Day? I thought people around me were very cheery lately. They're for me? There's plenty of others hanging out at the cafeteria who would want these. Whatever. It may not fill up my stomach, but if you're giving it to me, I'll take it. Master, sorry, I don't have anything on me. I don't expect anything big. Uh, I didn't give it to you because I wanted something back. 
<laughs> That's a relief. Then I'll gladly accept. Here you go. Don't drop it. What are you giving me? A uh, spearhead? Uh, isn't this an alliance you normally use? Not everyone has done it, but some of us heroic spirits have been through a Holy Grail War. And while it doesn't happen with everyone, some of us have retained our memories from the experience. And I happen to be one that did. I don't know about the aged me or the caster me, but I once fought in a Holy Grail War, and there was a lot of killing. That was the time when my noble phantasm was sealed. As you know, its power is incredible, and it's, notor it's notoriety too. That's why my master at the time chose to seal away my no the noble phantasm. It was set aside as an ace in the hole. So this lance is... Even without a noble phantasm, there's no avoiding battle. Obviously, you need a weapon for when it comes. A different gay bowl. It was a spear that the master I had back then made rather hastily. It's pretty far off from the real gay bowl, but it's still a good lance. Somehow, I've been, I'm still using it. You could also say that it's one of my favorite lances. Besides, I wouldn't care if it got destroyed from rough use, but not worrying about that, I can go all out. It may be useless to you, but take it. I, I have plenty of replacements. It's a good weapon. It won't break from... It won't even break against a Sphinx's hide. Though it'll break like a twig if it's up against a certain sacred sword. Well, we won't have to worry about that until Arthur comes to the game. Dallin has a turn gift from Kuka Lane, prototype. Hastily made lance that he normally uses in combat. During a certain Holy Grail war that was once fought in another land, he used this weapon instead of his true noble phantasm, which was sealed away as a trump card. He carries a few of these around. Did he gift this to you because he had spares? Nay, uh, he's gifting it to you because it's a special item. Thank you. Thank you, Koo. Dear Mood, why are you never wearing a shirt when I see you? Ah, Lord Gabriel, can I be of some assistance? There's something I want to give you. This... this is for me? My apologies, uh, I was at a loss for words. I am greatly humbled by your gracious gesture, my lord. But you must have many subjects other than me. Yet to receive such a gift, to be the only person to receive the, this affection pains me somewhat. Oh, believe me, you're not the only one I've given these gifts to. You don't want them? No, absolutely not. But my personal feelings aside, to be singled out among all the other heroic spirits, this is somewhat... For example, this... And this is only an example. If word of this interaction reaches my king, you don't need to overthink this. Huh? Really? I see. Today must be a day where anyone's permitted to convey their feelings in ways like this. So this is the custom. Ah, what a wonderful age this is. I'm so very happy to have a chance to see for myself how the times have changed. That alone makes me grateful to have been summoned as a servant. And now, I shall give you this as a token of my gratitude. Oh, it's a bouquet! The bond that I have formed with you, I am extremely humbled and happy to be able to give you a show of my loyalty this way. As a proud knight, I, Diarmuid, shall finish this chocolate alone. Even if it means giving my life. Even in a fierce battle, if fierce battle ensue, I'll protect it with all my being. No, listen. Poor Diarmuid, that guy can never catch a break. White Rose Bouquet, Valentine's return gift from Diarmuid. The feeling of gratitude that eternally burns within me. Trying to express it with words is impossible with the white, with this brutish heart. I, at least I shall give you a pure white flower, which is so very like you. Is what's written on the a t message attached to the card. <laughs> and Kiru gives me a single white flower. Dear Mood gives me a bouquet. Hmm. Hold up, Master. I thought you had business with me. Haha. <laughs> Our relationship is one of servant and master. There's no need to be bashful. This is a token of my gratitude, Fion. Even though I literally just got you a few days ago and I've never used you before. Ha <laughs> I appreciate it, Master. Receiving a gift from a man isn't too shabby. Did you think that I would just give my eloquent thanks and slink off? As a man well-versed in love, I know very well what kind of day today is. This graceful body, this handsome face of mine, cannot simply be oblivious on a day like this. Valentine's Day. It's, it can be a day where one simply receives gifts, but it can also be a day for those friendly with each other to exchange gifts. There are multiple origin stories, but... Hmm, is a tasteful event. 
It pleases me greatly. I like it so much, I prepared gifts of my own. It is... Behold! It's a fish. A giant tank and a giant salmon. Yes, indeed. It is. Salmon. Remember, this fish is not for salmon else. Nobody can stop me from gifting this. Take a look. Look at how wildly it splashes. How lively it is. Hmm. There's no need to stand on guard now. Come on. It's salmon. Yes, it's just salmon. Is it salmon or is it a red herring? Uh... You don't gain infinite wisdom or anything? Of course not. Nothing will happen if you lick its fat. Or, but you might get smarter. DHA. Yes, DHA. Uh, how do I pronounce that? Docosahexanoic acid. An N3 type polyunsaturated fatty acid. It supports and improves brain and visual functions. Understand? Well, farewell. Farewell, Master. I'm a man with a lot of salmon to give to many ladies. To the female Cadia staff who took one look at me, those who have fallen in love with me, I must give each of them a fish as a form of atonement. Oh, uh, life as a considerate, considerate good-looking man is so tough. Yes, give them their fish before Deermoot steals them all away. So does he intend for me to eat this salmon? Valentine's return gift from Fionn Macumhail. A giant salmon inside a tank. Take a look. See how lively uh, it is as it flails. Okay, I guess I'll put it in my room. Hello, Hector. I still don't like you. Hey, hey, Hector here in the flesh. Master, what the heck is that? Is this old man a good enough servant to deserve such a, such a grand reward? I may be good at defending, but not so much at attacking. Ah, just take it. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. I'm so moved, I might just drop this lance. But to receive such a grand chocolate, yet have nothing to return, the good name of Hector will be tarnished. Something that Master would enjoy. What do I have? Well, I have one thing. Wait just a moment. Ah, thanks for waiting, Master. Take this. Is, this is a Trojan horse? Correct. This old man's crafting skills are still good. Huh? Do I feel remorse, you ask? Not really. The idea of Troy that I hold in my heart ended when I died. It was unfortunate that Troy fell after I died, but it is the destiny of all nations to change and fall. I love my country with my entire being until my death, but it's no business of mine what happens to my country after that. A country's living citizens are the ones who should be responsible for its battles and protection. Its fate saddens me, yes, but to dwell on forever is practically evil. Now, to be honest, how the heck do you fall for a stupid trick like that? Paris, you bastard. I should have protected Troy with your life. Or, you should have protected Troy with your life. <clears throat> uh, that is, uh, at least, part of how I feel. I mean, look at this thing. Who in the right mind would allow something like this through the gates? Anyway, Master, I may or may not have told you this. Right now, you are Troy to this old man. So if you accept this from me, all other wooden horses will look like crap to you. <laughs> Kidding! Valentine's return gift from Hector, a main trans version of the Trojan horse. You tinker with it and notice that its belly opens up. Inside there's a piece of paper which reads, At my skill level, recreating this part is impossible. Okay. Here you go, Benke. Chocolate, is it? I see, I see. Valentine's Day. I do indeed like sweet things. Before she read Lord Ushiwaka finds me, I shall gladly accept them. And now, I, in return, I shall give you this. Oh, thank you, Benkei. An unyielding spirit? Yes, this is a su subscription list. You know how you uh, use them for a shrine or a temple. Isn't this extremely valuable? No, it's simply a blank subscription list. It's something that cannot be used twice. Thus, I, Lord Benkei, I mean, uh, I autographed it. This is Benkei's autograph. It's very valuable. Oh, uh, well, nobody really cares about my autograph. I'll treasure it. <laughs> to see the happy look on your face. I'm glad I got it autographed. I mean, I'm glad I autographed it myself. 
Yeah, you know, for those who don't know, uh, this Ben K isn't actually the real Ben K, he just assumed his name. Valentine's Return Gift from Musashibo Ben K. A blank subscription list. The list was autographed by Ben K, who had no use for it anymore. Or so it said. The words buy makes it look absolutely suspicious. Uh, well, I can't read Japanese, so I don't really know what, it, what that would mean. Ah! Looking good. Hmm, it's you, Master. You, you've you got business with me? If it's a simulation, I'll join you. I have a gift for you. A gift? Yes. Hmm, it is for that Valentine's thing? I do know of it. Keldia is all wrought up about it, though it's mostly the women who are excited. But chocolate? I don't usually come across this sort of thing. So, how do you eat it? Um, pair it with some bitter green tea. Ah, good idea. While you're here, join me, Master. Yeah, I'll, I'll take some green tea. Sorry it's not a particularly good tea. Now then, I shall have this chocolate of yours. Mmm, delicious. I'm glad. Change of subject, Master. In one of the stories about my cause of death, I hear poison was put in my tea. Kaka, <laughs> don't get so tensed. All we need to do is be on guard. That's all I wanted to say. As you know, numerous heroes met their demise with poison. Trust others, one should still hold some suspicion. The more you want to trust, the more you need to carry suspicion. Though it may not have made much sense to you since you've been through this numerous battle trusting others. Ah, just treat it as an old man's rambling, for now. Yeah, you really will be an old man when assassin Li Xuan comes out. Valentine's a turn gift from Li Xuan. Well, whatever. By the way, this tea is delicious. Drinking some warm tea and eating chocolates. Hmm, this must also be another form of happiness. How you pronounce that? Tai Grignanin tea? Question mark. What? Chocolate for Leonidas? My train did not go to waste. Now then, just as I write myself to receive an attack with the shield, I shall wholeheartedly receive your gift. Also, please wait a moment. Thank you very much for waiting. This is a gift from We Spartans. Oh, my apologies. One fell. It's heavy! With these iron marshmallows, you too can train uh, uh, with fervor, master. Eh? Can you eat them, you ask? <laughs> they are made of iron, so of course you cannot eat them. Well, it's the thought that counts, I suppose? Valentine's is a return gift from Leonidas. Marshmallows made of iron. To put simply, they're hunks of metal. No more, no less. You expect them to deal great damage to others when thrown, but in order to throw one, you need to be quite strong. In other words, you must train, master. Just put in one of those marshmallow guns and shoot it. I duly received your sentiments. Rome is pleased. My child, warmth resides within your heart. The Rome within me is truly eternal. No matter how, ma how much time passes, the people retain their reverence. The power of men is infinite, and the culture that thrives during peace shall lead to true prosperity. Valentine's Day, that is also Rome, a romance that guides a man to righteousness. Lupercalia, the celebration of harvest and fertility, is still alive and well in this distant land. All roads lead to Rome, and all men walk the path of Rome. By now, you should be well aware without me saying this much. Look at the sky. Look at the land. Look at the motherly ocean. Take a look at all the harsh but kind world. Rome, that protects you on your path. Oh, young and proud warrior of Rome, Rome shall present this to you. Thank you, holy prognator Romulus. Look at the birds traveling through the skies. You are quite similar to them. You are the one who travels across the land as if leaping through the skies, and it's fitting for you who carries my dear Septim Rom Romai. You are neither a king nor emperor, yet Rome truly still exists within you. Enjoy. 
to the past, the world will eventually bond with you. The beautiful room of my soul. Pax Romana. Valentine's return gift from the Holy Progmaker. The world of ancient Rome. The beautiful Mediterranean shoreline spread before your eyes. The land and sea. And the sight of birds flying through the air. The beautiful shining world itself is the gift from him. He gave me ancient Rome? So, uh, okay Nero, scoot over. I'm the new emperor. 